Help please with my results. Here it is. I have been using CPAP since 2019. Everything was fine until I had heart surgery in April. I used a nasal mask and was able to keep my mouth closed. But since the surgery, I'm finding it very difficult, even with a chin strap or tape. I've tried full face masks previously and they make me hyperventilate and leak badly. I nearly always wake up around 3 a.m. and it looks like that's when I have my pressure go up and have the apneas. I'm waking up more tired than when I go to bed. I would like to know why this is happening and what I can do to stop it. If you can help me in any way, please, or point me in the right direction. Here's a link to my dashboard for July 9th. And this is one of the powerful features of Sleep HQ. You can create these links to your charts. They're anonymous links, and you can share them on any of these forums, on CPAP Talk, on Apnea Board, on the Facebook group, on the Reddit groups. And that enables other members to take a look at your charts and provide feedback and advice. But let's check out that share link. Here it is here. So we click the link and it opens up the Sleep HQ dashboard with all the CPAP information. There's no personal information, no name, no email, none of that. It's just CPAP statistics, CPAP settings, CPAP charts. And to someone like Stu who's trying to help and give advice, this my friends is the holy grail, otherwise he's flying blind. We can see the machine settings here and we can click more to expand all the settings. We can see she's using a dream station in automatic mode with a pressure min of six, a pressure max of 11, and we have access to all the other settings. But we'll scroll down here and check out some of these charts. She got the sleep stage chart here. So Leslie has connected Apple Health to her Sleep HQ account. She might be wearing an Apple Watch or an Aura Ring and she's tracking her sleep right here on Sleep HQ. We can see a lot of deep sleep here. A lot of deep sleep. Very envious of that. Some REM sleep, some wake periods, and this is core. And below that, we have the pressure trace. And this is the automatic pressure changing through the night to help Leslie breathe. And right now, it's not doing a very good job. Let's zoom in on her breathing and have a look at this chain stokes respiration. Now, Leslie likely needs another device, a ResMed ASV device that will help break this chain, the chain stokes help maintain stable minute ventilation. All right, but before that, obviously she can speak with her doctor, maybe try a few other things. But this is textbook chain stokes respiration right here, this wavy waxing and waning pattern. We'll just scroll back, I'll just show you the change. All right, so this is more normal breathing here. And then you can see it change, hey? Easy to see. So right now the Dream Station Auto has no idea that this is textbook chain stokes respiration breathing pattern. It should, but it doesn't. And even if it did, there's no real way for it to treat this type of breathing pattern. You can see here it's marking essential apnea flag, then a hypopnea flag, then an obstructive apnea flag. It has no idea what's going on. This is just all central apnea right through here. It's missed a whole bunch of flags as well. All right, and it carries on, look at it all. So they're increasing the pressure here for obstructive apneas. See that there? The pressure goes from 9.1 to 10.1 when it's not going to do anything. So if we didn't have access to these interactive sleep HQ charts where we can zoom in on the breathing and see that chain stokes respiration breathing pattern, then we're flying blind. We're going off the AHI. And as I just showed you, that's incorrect because the dream station is incorrectly flagging those events. It's missed a whole bunch. It's marking obstructive apneas when it should be central, hypopneas when they should be central. And as such, any doctor looking at the AHI is going, oh, Leslie, most of your events are obstructive events. Let's increase your pressure. Wrong. Chain stokes respiration is not going to do anything. It's just going to cause problems. Leslie likely needs a ResMed ASV device that will vary the pressure support, maintain stable minute ventilation, and break that chain stokes breathing pattern. So she wakes up feeling refreshed and good. Today I want to show you two things. Number one, just how kick-ass our Sleep HQ Magic Uploader is. And using the Magic Uploader, I want to demonstrate how this Air Curve 11 ASV device treats central sleep apnea. It is pretty cool. Now first things first, what the bloody hell is a Sleep HQ Magic Uploader? Well, my best mate Adam and myself developed the Magic Uploader 
so that it can automatically send all the detailed high resolution CPAP data that's stored on your SD card to your home Wi-Fi and then send it up to Sleep HQ, which is our cloud-based sleep apnea management platform where you can see every single breath you take, every single apnea, all your leak rates, everything. First thing in the morning when you wake up, even in the middle of the night, if you have a magic uploader, you get up, go for a whiz, you can open up your phone and go, how did I sleep for the first two hours of the night? It's pretty cool. Now, I'm sure many of you right now are using the My Air app and that's fine, all right? If you're a rookie, that's what the rookies use. The pros, we use Sleep HQ, all right? ResMed gives you a soft serve cone from McDonald's. All right, what we give you is the banana split baby with the chocolate fudge, the sprinkles, and a little cherry on top from Uncle Nico. All right, so here's what we'll do. For the first couple of minutes, just nice, regular, normal breathing. And then after that, I'm gonna simulate central apnea. I'm gonna pause my breaths. There's no obstruction here, although I could do that. Maybe another video. We'll just do the central apnea. So I'm just gonna pause my breathing. And when that happens, all right, my minute ventilation, which is the amount of air flowing into my lungs each minute, will start to decline. And what the device does is it jump starts my breathing. It has this rolling three minute window where it sets like a benchmark as to how much air it wants to deliver to Uncle Nico. And if that starts to decrease, it goes, uh-oh. And that jump start is called pressure support. Now don't get too bogged down in all the terminology when it comes to CPAP because this makes things confusing. What ResMed is trying to achieve is a big differential between the airflow, the pressure when you breathe in, versus your exhalation pressure when you breathe out. Right? So when you breathe in, a lot of air. When you breathe out, not much air, not much resistance. And that difference is the jump start. That's what gets you breathing and you can feel it. If you hold your breath, you feel the ResMed device, the ASV, wants to just force air into your lungs. It's pretty cool. All right, let's check it out. All right, so normal breathing, don't worry. I'll fast forward it so it's not like watching paint dry. Here we go. And like I said before, this is happening in real time. And for those industry professionals, very impressive. If I do say so myself, now this here is a F&P solo mask, all right? No clips, no Velcro, I just push it in, boop. Locks into place, how good is that? All right, here we go. Let's do it. Link in the description. And I'm also running Air, Co -po Air Pro, Air Pro Copilot, 150 bucks. Sleep HQ Pro Bebbers, USB-C power supply. We'll run this device for 10 plus hours on a single charge, 2.5 hour recharge time. Link in the description. Cheers. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Let's click here to view. Like I said, this is the magic uploader. So all this data is happening right here, right now on Sleep HQ. Let's go down and check it out. So here it is here. All right, so here's my breathing and it's looking pretty good. Nice, even breathing, like I said. And down below that, we've got the minute ventilation. This is how much air is coming into my lungs every minute. And based on this information, a three minute rolling window, ResMed determines a target amount of air it wants Uncle Nico to receive into his lungs. And it uses that as the benchmark so that if I have a central apnea or some other complex apnea, whatever it is, we're not gonna go into the details in this video, and that minute ventilation drops, there's less air coming in than what the ResMed device does. It goes, Nico needs a breath, all right? And it jump starts my breathing to bring that minute ventilation the amount of air up. And we're gonna see that in a minute. Now, minute ventilation, I don't wanna to get too complex in this video, is tidal volume, okay, which is the amount of air coming in with each breath, not per minute, each breath, times the respiratory rate, how many breaths I'm having per minute. How many breaths I'm having per minute, 
times how much air is coming in with each breath. That gives us this little line here, the minute ventilation, right? 12 liters per minute, 11 liters per minute. It's quite high right now. Could be because I'm drinking. Now, what we can see right now is that the pressure, and this is the inhalation pressure here. Normally you would see the inhalation and the exhalation pressure here. Because we just got this device, it's not fully compatible yet with Sleep HQ. Need to do a few tweaks. But normally you would have inhalation and the exhalation pressure. We've just got the inhalation pressure here. But you can see it's very stable at 11. But look what happens now over the next couple of minutes when I simulate the central apnea, when I pause my breathing. What we'll see is that inhalation pressure increase to jumpstart my breathing. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right, let's have a look at that in action. Uh, click here to view, once again, real time. All right, so here it is in action, and it's a beautiful thing, I just love it. Now, like I said before, this device isn't fully compatible with Sleep HQ yet, I only just got it, so it takes us a couple of months to iron out some bugs, and there's some bugs right now, which I'm not gonna tell you, but you might pick up on them. So in the beginning, nice, regular, even breathing. Have a look at this, beautiful nice and steady and because of that we have a nice steady minute ventilation the amount of air moving into my lungs every minute look at it here beautiful nice and steady and at this point here this is when i simulated that central apnea event i just held my breath which is what central apnea is you just hold your breathing there's no obstruction airway is open but there's a pause in the breathing signal fault whatever you want to call it you get this pause and because of that we have this pause here look at the minute ventilation Ooh. drops off a cliff and that's what this device is monitoring and when it sees that and it goes below a threshold it goes uh oh <laughs> jump start let's jump start nico and it does that with this big increase see the pressure here jumping up so it's jumping up on the inhalation, creating a big differential between my exhalation, low exhalation, high inhalation, boom. That's what it does, okay? And then it jump starts me back to life. And then I get, see, a regular breathing again. And when I get nice regular breathing again, look, it comes back down to the baseline. It doesn't want to overventilate me. It just wants to jump start me back into gear to bring the minute ventilation up again, which is what it's done. See that minute ventilation? Jump start Nico back into gear. Really cool to see and how incredible that that is right here, right now in real time via the Sleep HQ Magic Uploader. So if you wanna join Sleep HQ, get yourself a magic uploader so you can see all your detailed high resolution CPAP data in real time. There's so much more information in this. Let's go down and check it out. We've got the airflow limitation here, upper airway resistance. You've got your real time leak rates. That's your mass leak rate or perhaps it's mouth leak. So you can check out your leak, respiratory rate, how many breaths you're having per minute. If you've got a sleep HQO2 ring, right, we sell them also. You get blood oxygen level, pulse rate, movement data and you can connect up Apple Watch, Apple Sleep, so you can view your sleep stage data alongside your CPAP therapy data for the ultimate platform. Anyway, mates, thanks for watching. The sun is shining, and I should probably go and take my kids to the beach instead of mucking about with ASV devices. Have yourselves a great day. See you soon, cheers. Wanna know what you get out of it? You get the ice cream, the hot fudge, the banana, and the nuts. Right now I get the sprinkles, and yeah, if this goes through, I get the chair. But you get the Sunday, Vinny. You get the Sunday. All right, I buy that. Thank you. So what do you say? You want me to make you a market? Yeah, we'll take 50 million. Garibaldi four, triple B. Sharpen your pencils, I'll get the paperwork ready.